In this video, I'll continue going through the collection that I've been going through in my past couple videos. Uh, I got three binders here, and these are going to be extra cards that uh, the previous owner of the collection thought would be good to put in decks. So uh, this is starting out with Dark Side Starships, this one is. So quite a few uh, good cards on the first page, starting with Star Destroyers. He said sometimes he would double stack cards here, and uh, they're in various... Uh, conditions here. This is unfortunately a bit of binder wear here. I don't know if it's, you can kind of tell that uh, yeah the rings got to the cards here so hopefully there's not too many like that. Um, but some good cards. Let's see on the next page if a similar thing happened. Oh, we'll check out Vader. Alright, so not really. So hopefully that was only on the first page. But good cards here. A lot of doubles and triples. Is this three? Oh wow, three saber ones in one pocket. Those are all in good shape. Dang. So Devastators. Slave ones. It seems like there's a bunch in here. So there's probably when I go through this again, I'm going to find a bunch of cards that uh, are here in multiples that weren't obvious at first blush. But some really nice stuff here. Tide Defenders, ATSTs, and Star Destroyers. I'm always short on indoor ATSTs, so any multiple. So one of those. A couple Tempest Scout 2s, it looks like. Lots of good multiples here. Some Vader stuff, and Maul's lightsabers. So two of the Death Star, two Vader's lightsabers. I'm guessing the older cards might be a bit more beat up, but a lot of these are more than good enough to go in decks, and a lot of them are good enough for collectors, too. Maul's lightsaber. Oof. Almost bent him up, but he's quite nice. Got to watch the table there. So bounty hunter weapons, starship and vehicle weapons, makes sense how these were all organized. Some pretty cards in here. Mara Jade's lightsaber all by itself. Alright, real nice shape, no signs of those, uh, the binder ring bending that I saw on the first page, that is good to see. Devices, not too much you're always gonna, often going to find in devices. It looks like the interrupts are pretty much going in set order. So maybe we'll fast forward a bit to see what there is in terms of later sets. Okay. Oh, you know what? This might be by lost interrupt, used or lost, etc. Probably. Okay. So these are lost interrupts now. Got them all strikes. Nice. Used or lost. So, yeah, it makes sense to organize them that way depending on what you're looking for. Lots of times it interrupts organizing by destiny makes sense too. So, just lots of miscellaneous stuff in here. And yeah, these feel, uh, pages feel a bit thicker than having just one card in them. But a mixture of rares, commons, and uncommons. This is definitely more from a, a deck building perspective that all these would be. Lots of effects. Strategic reserves, nice. Oh, nice. They must never again leave this city. Always good to have this one in multiples for decks. Just one there, but that's okay. Death Stars. We're getting into the sights. And these look to be more or less, well, not quite alphabetical. So Death Star, then Big One. All sight. Okay, so definitely some good, oh, objectives now, nice. A lot of these are some, some of the more 
popular, at least expensive ones. I don't have many Raltier operations. For a while, people were buying those up left and right. And it makes sense, because I played it probably 75% of my tournament games I played against that deck in, the, in last year. Okay, we'll set this one off to the side. And this is going to be the light side. Similar thing. So starting out with starships first. Move it over just a bit. Multiple falcons it looks like. Okay, wow, nice shape. I guess a bit of a scratch on the front one, but the white borders are pretty good. Some white on the back, I suppose. Put these guys back in carefully. Red five. Oh, he's on the next page. A couple of home ones. A few home ones. I feel more than one in there. So three there. And one there. Nice. Four home ones. Awesome. And, uh, I don't know, it makes sense that starships are first. That's always one of my favorite things to look at. Some of the cooler stuff you can find in Star Wars is going to be among the starships and vehicles. Okay, Luke's saber, Obi-Wan's saber, Anakin's saber. There's a few Anakin saber in there. You can see at least one white border. Okay. Awesome. Getting into devices and effects and interrupts. Mostly going to be from the earlier sets. We didn't see a lot of extra Coruscant interrupts or anything like that. Maybe those are all more focused on the decks. But as soon as I say that, here's a Rebel Artillery. That's a nice card. So lots of good miscellaneous interrupts in here. Death Star 2 stuff, it looks like. Blaster Deflection, that's a nice card. Now into the effects. Gotta have lots of those. Projections of Skywalker. Betting there's six or so in there. Reflections 3. Good mix there. Those are always nice cards to have. Ooh, a Corellia. Nice. I'm always short on Corellia. Especially now that they just came out with a virtual version of it. One copy in there. Looks pretty good shape from what I saw when I took it halfway out of there. Got our Yavin 4 and Death Star sights. On to Tatooine. Of course, the generics, Cloud City, Theed a bit. There's a hollow, hollow game board. Nice, Endo Rebel Landing Site. That card's 15 plus right now. And some good objectives, too. Okay. And Jedi Test. Don't forget Jedi Test for the light side. And here's some Admiral's Orders. So that's another good binder. I got one more. This is the characters. Starting out, Boba Fett, Oil. These are all foil as it looks like. He's in pretty good shape, maybe a bit uneven. I don't really know what to say for that one. Not bent, warped maybe. Foils can get in strange shapes. Oh, and I wanted to check to see how the binder fared on this one. Okay, so none of the bending on the side like the other one had. Foil Wado, some Reflections 3 foils in here. That's a good sign. Four Outer Rim Scouts. Boba Fett. Some cool looking effects. Interrupts too, of course. 
Death Star, Japanese Death Star. Ah. Well, there we go. That's a page. So, yeah. Looks like seven Vaders. In various conditions, but hey, that's very nice. And two Lord Vaders. And that is a Lord Vader foil. Let's take him out. Very cool. Oh, that's a nice looking card. Maybe just a bit of a bit of edgeware on the bottom there. We'll probably see it a bit worse on the back if it is there. But wow, that is a nice card. Ultra rare foils are always good to see. Put him back in there nice and gently. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, some Emperors and Tarkins. Three Black Border Tarkins. R a Jade or a Erica Vert. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get through sentences here and it's not working out so good because I keep seeing good cards. Okay, this one's a bit more beautiful than the one in the set, but uh, it's like surface cloudiness. Maybe it's hard to see on the. You can see some white there, but I mean, this is easily a playable card. No problem there, but definitely not something that a near mint collector would want. And two Coruscant Malls. I'll take both of them out. I hardly ever see these guys. It's a cool portrait. He's just uh, not super playable with the other malls around, especially the, the Lone Hunter one. And I think just because he's so hard to get, they might not do some virtual text for him, because then he'd be uh, even even harder to get. And the Coruscant is already rough enough, so that's kind of a, a rock and a hard place for making that mall good. Bounty Hunters, all sorts of scum and villainy. And getting into maybe the more minor officers now, but we got all sorts of neat guys. Lots of things that I'll need for common and uncommon sets. So a lot of Imperial Cannon fodder there, and our just a few episode one guys. Jabba's nice. Seems like there's a few Bosks in there. Two Bosks. Miscellaneous aliens, but here's Thok and Thug. One copy. Beat up, but that's okay. You need them in multiples and this is playable. If you ever want to use them in a, a rep deck. Lots of miscellaneous aliens this will be. I'll go through this kind of quick. Maybe we'll... Okay, and here's our bounty... Not bounty hunters, our battle droids. Good mix of them. Pretty nice card, especially piloting. Limiting to somebody to one battle destiny. I always need more of this guy. A good card for invasion decks. Creatures now. And Japanese cards, okay, so a lot of Haas Japanese. These are all commons and uncommons, it looks like. A New Hope, I don't have many A New Hope, even commons and uncommons, but... Oh, there's a Hoth Rare, Rare 2. And that must be from the two-player game. That's the only white border Japanese I know of, is from the introductory Empire Strikes Back two-player. Looks like we just got into the light side. In one of my earlier videos, we saw him, so we'll take him out now and take a look. Okay. So he's got some odd waviness here. I'll see if I can get that on the... Yeah. So you can kind of see it there up towards the... Sorry for the excessive glare there, but up towards the top, there's some odd waviness here. So definitely not a mint card, but... I couldn't really tell until I took him out of the sleeve, so... Bit of a disappointment, but still a very nice looking card, at least in a binder. I wonder what causes that exactly. Huh. But two foil layers on that page, that's nice too. Okay, so that is an ultra rare from Reflections 3. I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. And looks in pretty good shape at the top. 
looks like just a pin brick of where you can see the foil through, but that's about about it. It is kind of an obvious flaw though. And the back isn't hot. Corners. A little bit of a scratch there. So not mint, but uh, a very nice looking card overall. And it's always nice to get an ultra rare from Reflections 3. More foils. Some pretty good foils in here. I mean, he uh, didn't really say he had a lot of foils, but there's some nicer ones than I was expecting. Rebel Artillery. Now we're into the Lukes. Quite a few Lukes. Even more Lukes. Oops. Mixes of Leia's here. Those are the two more valuable ones. I guess three if you count her. Obi Wan's. So a lot of mains. It's always nice to see a big pile of light side mains. They did make a lot of them in various sets. But just a good arrangement of of decent cards that sell sell well for all sorts of reasons. Alternate image Padme. And Qui Gon with lightsaber. Cool. A mace window. Take out a Coruscant mace. That's a good looking card. A little bit of edge white. So now we'll probably get into the more minor stuff. Various officers. Oh, but Admiral Akbar, always nice to see him. Cool, cool, cool. Miscellaneous Coruscant things. Dash Rendars. So there's uh, some good things mixed in here. I guess it goes by Rebels, Aliens, Republic, all that. So we have yet to see the droids, from what I can recall. So we'll fast forward through the Jawa's Palace miscellaneous guys. Okay, here's our droids. So 3PO, original R2-D2. Okay, there's more than one Endor 3, three Endor 3PO's, nice. On to Lebo and Creature. So, that is the... Extra cards that he always kept handy for deck building is what he said those binders were. Some pretty good stuff in there, uh, especially the uh, ultra rares. I did see the Luke already, and I think he did say he had a Qui-Gon, but that's my first time looking at it. So a very, uh, very good mix, especially in the light side part of things. Pretty much one of each of the main characters. Not a lot of extra um, Coruscant and Feed main characters like Qui-Gon, but... All the earlier stuff was there in good quantity. So I have a, one more video. I'll be going through the two boxes of decks. That's the last of the cards I have from this collection so far. Condition's been very good, and I've been very pleased with it. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Thanks for watching this one, and I hope you tune in for the next one.